Also, you got a Pac-Man, like a vape with a Pac-Man video game in it. Did you know about that? No. Has that is fucking cool. He made a video about it. Who's Mike Tyson? I know the fucking uh, retard, but he, I see that. He's Dylan's got a little, nice and, he's got a little uh, thing on his face. Cigarettes cost like seven dollars a pack, man. I'm like, this is like a waste of money. I like the clove cigarettes. I'm gonna get some. They're like seven dollars a pack. It's like a treat once in a while because I'm yeah, not. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you don't really get addicted to clove, you know. I'm gonna get those and relax before we do the show. I'm gonna have my cup of just a cup of champagne is not too much. Have my clove cigarette. I'm, I'm gonna start employing a routine because I don't want to sabotage the dungeons. I really anyway, don't. These these vapes are twenty nine dollars each. So anyway, I go into this. Okay. Uh, I go into this uh, weed shop that I used to go to like a year yeah. ago, and they're like, oh, you have a bunch of points. You got $100 of points you can use, uh, but you can't use it on weed. And I'm like, what can I use it on? They're like, nicotine. And I'm like, well, I, I don't want to spend f- seven bucks a pack on smokes anyway. So you go I got in a store and you have like points and you can get free shit. How do you do that? Most of the weed shops here do that. You just go, you put your telephone number in, and like every time you buy something, it it adds just points to your numbers. You buy a lot of stuff too, don't you? No, I mean, not really. I mean, you know, not that much. Like maybe you spend a hundred dollars, and maybe they give you like fifteen dollars oh, yeah. off or something like that. I mean, if you're spending that kind of money, they should give you something. But that's like a hundred bucks over time. Like if you go wow. and spend five bucks, it adds up until you get to hundred, and then they give you like fifteen bucks off. You know, I got four of these for like ten bucks. You know, with my hundred dollar credit, because they're like thirty bucks each. So I've been smoking these instead of cigarettes, just trying to save money. I feel really good now, believe it or not. You see that little bit of champagne I drink. I'm not a nat- normal drinker, so to have that once in a great while, that's why I, now I understand why <clears throat> have to be in an altered state in order to get their butts in gear. It's not like they don't want to entertain us. Something happens in the creative mind. Our brains aren't wired right. And I know that I'm doing something wrong, sabotaging this and that. I know that if I don't get my ass in gear and the clock keeps ticking closer to the time I need to perform, I know if I don't get my fucking ass in gear, I'm fucked. My career is over. I'm going to make this a regular thing. I'm going to start going to the, the store, getting the clothes, <clears throat> getting the marijuana cigarettes. My fans want me to be fat and they want me to do piss streams. So I'm going to do a piss stream on Tuesday with on his channel so his channel can get struck. Well, if you want to, but I mean, honestly, oh, you shouldn't. I mean... If you're serious about your career, because that shit will come back on you, man. You know what I mean? They see yeah, somebody pissing on themselves. I mean, I guess G.G. Allen, but do you want to have that kind of rep? Yes. I mean, people think it's hot, and I think it's hot. If G.G. Allen was alive, would he have ever gotten any kind of contract with all that shit out there? No way. Contract? How, how, how is he famous if he didn't have a record label? How is he famous? Lots of people like him. And I'm not going to be as bad as him, by the way, just so you know. Well, it's just... I mean, no shit, uh, nothing like that. Honestly, I heard about Gigi when I was in high school. My friend. Everybody knows who he is. He always played. He didn't play in a lot of places outside of New York City, but he had. A, he knew a guy in Peoria, Illinois, and there's a punk scene in Peoria. He would always come there to play, and my friends were like, "Oh, Gigi's playing at," and I knew him from. He would be on all these talk shows, and he'd be talking about like he eats his shit on stage and. He That's gross. Him. I will not do. Basically, what I do is I hold my bladder. I don't piss all over myself. But if the guy falls asleep, if Dylan falls asleep, I'm pissing on his channel, buck naked. He would say, "My mind's a machine gun. My words That's are the bullets. The audience is the target. You know, uh, and shit like that." And he would like jump out and crowd, beat people up. He people on stage. Dudes would rip him on stage. I mean, dudes would come up and hold him down and fuck him in the ass like right on stage and shit. That's like, hot. Uh, it's really fucked up. I got when I was. In fact, when I was in high school, uh, actually in college, I went to Chicago and some they were, somebody was selling the GGL and funeral tape in there. So me and my friend bought it. We took it home and watched it. That was the most fucked up thing ever. There were women coming in there sucking his dead dick. See, you were intrigued. You know, so me holding my bladder and sitting there and drinking until my bladder was full. And I don't let my audience pee until I tell them. He got or- kicked out of the cemetery he's in. So his body is just like he got kicked out of the cemetery after he died. Yeah, just like maybe like five years ago. So he had been well, dead. He'd been there for like did, years. But if, if he was dead, how did he leave? They had to actually take. Well, him people kept coming there, shitting on the grave, right? 
So they took his body and they threw it out of there. Well, no, they they exhumed it and they put it somewhere. That his brother Merle has it somewhere. He donated it to that museum of death in Los Angeles. There's a museum of death there. Yes, it's owned by that ghost hunter guy, the Zach. Uh, Fuck yeah, Zach something. I have a lot so of they're going to have like his body like in there, so you get in a in a glass coffin you can go in and look at it but he's been dead for in the ground for like 10 years they say he's like all fucked up and looking at shit do you think i'd get killed if i went to hollywood no but i think hollywood's going down you know i mean it I is i don't think it's... But I know that i'm bringing it up mini manson does merch packs super fan kits i have three levels of merch kits the 30 dollar, the 40 dollar, and the 50 dollar super fan kit where you get everything you don't have to pay shipping if you're in the united states you get this you get the big 10 dollar five inch sticker you get all the regular Stickers, the three inch ones, the four inch ones. You get this, 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 this. I think I'll call him mini me, mini, mini me. And you get this. By the way, this one, the sticker and the magnet, which you see here, they work under fluorescent lighting. Black light, blue light, purple light. The $40 kit, you'll get three magnets, all the stickers. Of course, you get the 8x10. With the $30 kit, you still get the 8x10. You get that with all three kits. You get two magnets. You get all these stickers with all three merch kits. You can order these directly through Mini Manson at mini underscore manson at yahoo.com my cash app is mini manson talent so is my paypal mini manson talent